maybe talk to me or give me the story about the biggest adversity in your life uh, and how you overcame that. Um, what was going through your head? What was your attitude about it as you maybe bounced from program to program? Or maybe it was personal. I don't know. But we'd love to hear that story. <laughs> there's a uh, man. I got to get used to my camera. here. Um, no, I, there's no question. It, it would be number one. I would say very fortunate that I don't think I've uh, experienced anywhere near the adversity that uh, some others have. Um, I've talked to our defensive team about that recently. Um, just we do a thing called Triple H, uh, Hero Hardship Highlight. It's a thing from one of John Gordon's books, and we had each one of our our guys do it, and and I did it first. And I my first thing was I said, look, uh, I've been very very fortunate, and what seems like a hardship, um, what I'm going to say is a hardship. I'm almost embarrassed to say it because. So many people have been through such harder things, but um, my biggest thing was was definitely getting fired for the first time when I was the head coach of Western Kentucky, and um, you know, absolutely no excuses whatsoever. We were zero nine and um, got called to the president's house on Sunday night and uh, said they were going in a different direction. And um, there's a lot of you know things to it. it certainly was not expected. Um, you know, we were rebuild we were it, it was our first year going to fbs and you know we were building it and it was kind of the plan and we were right in the middle of it and and got the the, the rug pulled out from under us and um uh that was adversity for the first time you know sitting down and telling your family um that uh this big new house that we just built and newborn baby and um i'll never forget as long as i live jessica my she was about in fifth grade at the time and sitting on the on the, uh, our bed and telling her and Lauren at the same time and absolutely no words, just one big tear came down Jessica's cheek. And that was diversity for me. You know, that was, um, that was tough. And, and honestly, looking back, it's been 10 years and um, I did not handle it very well uh, initially. You know, I was, uh, I was a blame and why me, why this? And, um, it took a while, but I finally went back to, you know, what I teach and what I talk about all the time, which is control the things you can control. And um, I just went back into, all right, now what's next? And, um, you know, started looking for another job and figuring out how we were going to make that transition as a family. And um, we have, we've, we've done, we, we've had our ups and we've had more adversity over the last 10 years. But honestly, that first bit of it has helped me handle um, these other ones, you know, in our profession, uh, they say you're not a coach until you've been fired. And so that was, I had been 16 years into coaching and that was my first time. And, uh, I've been a part of that a couple of times since then. Um, and so, you know, it happens. And, um, if, if you're going to be in this profession or I would say any profession, but ours, especially, uh, you've got to be ready to, to handle adversity and the things that go with it, with, you know, moving and um, affecting your family, et cetera.